we watched the water all night uh, Monday night till about three and um, it really started about 6.30 Monday. It come up between 3 and 6.30 um, Tuesday morning, a couple feet up to my steps, and we watched it all day Tuesday. And uh, Tuesday, uh, Clay County uh, Fire Department came by and said it was going up three to five feet, and within an hour, it came up a foot and a half. During the storm, we never lost power. and in, in fact, uh, we had to cut our power, and uh, we were standing in two feet of water when we uh, cut the main breaker uh, to the house. So. You know, it's, it's fortunate that we were able to uh, pack everything up in the in the light and have two feet of water standing outside. So uh, we moved some stuff out of out of my place, and uh, unfortunately, we lost the the battle yesterday by about three inches to uh, complete flooding. So uh, getting ready to uh, load everything up and put it in storage until the place is fixed. I think we've seen the worst of, of what we're going to have, and now it's time to time to clean up and uh, you know help help in, help out any way we can with uh, friends and family been a member of Clay Electric for uh, about two years now. Um, have nothing but uh, great things to say. Uh, we've had some lightning strikes and uh, transformers and uh, very impressed with uh, how fast uh, everybody's uh, dispatched and uh, you know fixes our, our electrical outages. We had one uh, on the other side of Byron yesterday and um, it was about an hour after the transformer was out. The guys were out here uh, out here fixing it for the other folks on the other side of Byron. Um, they went out of their way to make sure uh, our neighbor over here who's on oxygen um, that her place was taken care of first. So that, uh, you know, that says a lot for a, a company that they're willing to go out of their way to uh, make sure the important, uh, you know, not uh, people that need uh, special needs are taken care of first and uh, don't have to uh, evacuate their houses um, because, you know, they won't have power. So it's, uh, it's, it's great, I like it. My mom's on oxygen. There's three other people that live on the street that are on oxygen. And thanks to Clay Electric, y'all had it back on within 20 minutes, and we really pre appreciate it. I even fed the guy that came out and did it. Gave him a plate of food. <laughs> I figured he must be hungry after all that work yeah, he did yesterday. Yeah. But we appreciated it a whole lot. I fed him some pulled pork and some macaroni salad, and he oh, ate darn, good yesterday. I wish I was with him. I know, you should have been here yesterday. Good job. Hey, Everybody that helped me yesterday, I fed them. <laughs> so it all worked out real good, but we appreciated yeah. it. We did. Yeah, uh, Clay Electric, uh, right after I called them, it wasn't 30 minutes, they were out here, and they reset the breaker on the pole, and, it, you know, it was only out for about 30 minutes, and I guess about an hour later it went out again, and I was kind of surprised to see the truck come down the street, because it was very deep where they brought the truck, and it was up to the floorboards, I guess, on the truck itself, and a guy went up in a boom and reset the breaker, and we got our power back, it was really good, very prompt. I've been with Clay Electric since around 1976. I used to live in a house next door and had to build this house for handicap purposes. And they've been really good out here. We live on Black Creek, uh, Byron Road. And, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, we weathered the storm in place and uh, did real good. And uh, then last night, Wednesday, Wednesday night, yeah, about a quarter of five, and uh, uh, so called Clay Electric, and they said, well, there's about 90 people that's got electricity out, so we'll get to you as quick as we can, and uh, finally about, oh, I guess about seven o'clock, I tried to call back, and uh, the person there told me, he says, we don't know when we're going to get it, we have, your road's impassable, we don't know where the outage is, and so forth, but then about eight, oh, wait, eight thirty? About 8.30, About 830. we decided to leave. We got borrowed the Jeep from the neighbor and decided to go uh, to a motel or something for the night so we'd have some electricity. And uh, we got down to the end, you know, running one mile an hour through the water. <laughs> and uh, we got down there to the end and there were two play electric guys working just as hard as they could go, getting, uh, getting it restored and uh, about we turned around, came back, and maybe 30 minutes after that, we were, we were wired again. So uh, we good. We real good. I don't have anything but praise for Clay Electric. Uh, I've, I've lived with, uh, in my life, I've lived with a lot of different electric companies, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, Clay Electric's about the best around. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we have a house in town in Orange Park, and... Um you know, and we still own that house. Our son lives in it, but we have Clay Electric both places. And they've, they've always gotten us back up running when the power goes out. 
and they're not crazy on their electric rates like some other companies. <laughs> uh, I live about, uh, I'd say, a quarter of a mile away from the boat ramp at, uh, at Fort White. And uh, about 10 years ago, the river flooded, but it wasn't near as bad as this is. I'm a member of Clay Electric, and I have had it for uh, since 2000, 12 years, and uh, we've enjoyed it. We very seldom ever have any problem with the uh, power going out, and um, and uh, the rates are probably lowest that I've ever paid anywhere in the country. We live on Byron Road and it flooded. You couldn't get in or out of the road and um, our electricity stayed on until yesterday. Um, it was off for about an hour and we thought it was gonna be off until Saturday, but they came and fixed it. It only took a couple hours. We love Clay Electric. <laughs>